how are you today? I just finished sending out all those um, mystery boxes. Whoo! Man, I tell you, when I went into the post office and they saw me, they were like, oh, heck no. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. <laughs> you guys weren't busy, were you? <laughs> so they're all out. Um, it should take around eight days for them to um, get to their destination. So, you know, postal service, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, so I could get rid of this headache. <laughs> Um, I came, when I came home uh, to relax, I put on YouTube and lo and behold, I saw a video from Lisa from Lisa's Crochet and she finished her rise up, rise up blanket. OMG, it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, I was so impressed with it that I thought, hey, let's jump on the bandwagon and I'm going to make a Rise Up blanket too. So, um, this is gonna be in homage to Lisa. Uh, and I thought, well, what can I use? And then I thought, everybody loves this so much that I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do something similar, except in the granny stitch. <clears throat> I'm going to use, I had this big ball of Red Heart Super Saver that I had gifted to me. So I have this in black, and I'm going to be using the Sweet Roll Vivid. Look at that, bam! Oh, that is gonna look gorgeous! Okay, now this color is, I think this is the lava. Nope, this is the It's Electric. It's Electric. Do, 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 do. do you remember that song? It's Electric. Yeah, anyway. Okay. Moving on, showing my age. <clears throat> so I thought that these two together would just be freaking phenomenal. It will totally be electric. Uh, so I'm going to try it out and see what happens. Um, I have quite a bit of this, so I'm excited. I am not a blanket person at all, like, uh-uh, nope. But when it comes to grannies, this is gonna be like a throwback for me because I started, I have tape on my toe, <laughs> for shipping tape. <laughs> Um, I started crocheting, when I started crocheting in 2008, I started with granny square blankets. I think I even still have one. Uh, my niece, my mom taught my niece, and then my niece taught me. So, I know, it was kind of weird. It, anyway, uh, so she taught me how to do granny squares. And I thought, this is the perfect way to kind of throw back from when I started crochet. Kind of like full circle, right? Um, so let's see how it goes. I, I'm excited. Uh, I don't usually use Super Saver, but gosh, they sure changed their, their formula or something for this, because this is soft. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're gonna do this. Um, so this is a four weight, and this is a four weight. This is that a medium four? Is that, yeah, they're both medium four. Yeah. So this is gonna be a thick blanket. Yes. Uh, I didn't have anything thinner. Yeah, I don't have anything thinner than this. So I figured, okay, well, we'll just do it and. Hope that my wrist doesn't, you know, freak out and yeah, <laughs> I'll take breaks. <laughs> so yeah, I am, I'm totally excited about this. Okay, so um, I, you know, I, I would love it if you guys would also give a mosh to Lisa and do your own rise up blanket. 
go check out her channel. I will leave the link down below. Um, I think it's a fantastic idea. It's a great way to get rid of your scraps. It's a great way to stash bust. Um, and like she did, she had some yarn gifted to her. She had these little skeins of yarn in a bunch of different colors gifted to her. And she just mixed it with white and then started the granny stitch. And it just turned out fantastic. So I can't wait to try this out. I'm hoping it's kind of going to have kind of a steam glass kind of something, maybe. I don't know. This could be a total cluster, but I'm going to try it anyway. Okay, so yeah. So tell me, are you going to do it? Are you going to do the Rise Up Blanket? Um, let's do it. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Hi, Lisa, by the way. <laughs> okay, guys, I will talk to you later and I will give you an update of how it's going. Eek. Okay. Bye.